What if we could transform how we live? So that the way we live regenerates life. To do that, we need to take steps that are so tiny as to be irresistibly easy. Continuous, incremental, iterative improvements compound into great change. I'm experimenting with what everyday regenerative action could look like throughout the seasons. I'm Elisa Rathjay at Apple Turnover. And this is the Journal of Small Work. How can we adapt to an uncertain future and also make a life that we want to live? The cold frame can illustrate how this could work. The cold frame is one of those brilliant solutions for extending the gardening season that hails from an era before ubiquitous fossil fuels and plastics. The Victorians knew what they were about when they designed these into kitchen gardens. They regarded season extension as something of a competitive sport. Using a simple design of windows angled toward the sun by a basic hinged box, the cold frame collects plenty of warm sunlight for a protected growing season and even year-round harvests. This is appropriate technology, amenable to upcycling from reclaimed materials, requiring only basic skills to make, demanding no further energy, save for the labor of tending to opening and closing it according to the weather. The humble cold frame can go further than one might think. It can create the conditions for adaptation in the face of multiple converging crises. The cold frame embodies simple passive solar design. Angled windows facing the sun allow plenty of light in year round, trapping heat in the thermal mass of the soil and the wood to warm the plants longer. If it's cold, we keep it closed. If it's warm, we open it up. The cold frame can easily be cracked open to release excess heat and then thrown wide open for the warmest part of the year. No fans are necessary, no electricity needed, just passive solar and active humans. The cold frame aligns well with continuous improvement. We may not have the resources or space or time for a full greenhouse or solarium. But we can take this small step into passive solar and it opens up possibilities for what we can grow in protected conditions, perhaps even year round. In colder climates, one can effectively shift a couple of zones south by putting the cold frame inside a greenhouse, doubling the layers of protection. The pattern of the cold frame repeats from the cloche to the solarium, to the greenhouse, to the high tunnel. Passive solar is appropriate technology for an energy descent future. The cold frame helps us adapt to climate shocks. 
moderating the effects of severe or unpredictable weather. Its traditional design, concerned with season extension, translates well to climate resilience, reducing the freezing in the shoulder seasons, allowing for sowing earlier in the spring and growing later into the autumn. Neither a good foot of snow, nor pelting rainstorms, high winds, nor a hard freeze can trouble the hardy little plants tucked snugly into their cold frame. The cold frame is more than sufficient for starting many seeds and for hardening off seedlings that are heading out into the garden, exposing their leaves to sun little by little, the same way we build up tolerance in our skin. The cold frame can shift us toward a four-season garden. We particularly like to grow greens in our cold frame in the cool season. Rather than cut the whole plant, we pluck outer leaves, which the plant replaces rapidly to late autumn's pause. When the frame is in effect, a living refrigerator, leaves less growing than stored. After a freeze, we wait till they thaw to harvest. After snow, we brush the panes clear. When the light returns in middle winter, the plants take off growing madly. For the four season garden, we favor hardy winter varieties that don't mind the cold, then shift to summer loving plants that like the heat. The greens we grow in our cold frame are a great pleasure. The sort of delicate vegetable for which one pays far too much tends to forget in its brief window to find languishing neglected, obscured by jars in the back of the fridge. Invariably, they're sold with more plastic than vegetable, a nauseating reality as we coat our planet with plastics, taxied in refrigerated trucks and planes just so we can eat some leaves. We vastly prefer to cut, rinse, and eat in one swift motion. The cold frame can foster increased health, providing absolutely fresh food that's nutrient dense and diverse, avoiding pesticides and herbicides and the resulting issues for soil and water by simply providing our food directly from seed to plate where we live. We like that the cold frame can be simply constructed using reclaimed materials that don't cause more of the same problems we seek to mitigate. In a world where single glazing needs to be replaced with double, harvesting windows will be doubly useful. We can make a cold frame with some basic tools and simple materials.
cold frame is a natural when it comes to adaptation. Its humble yet effective nature can carry us into an era of resilience and sustainability. Growing our own is an act of relocalization. As small work goes, creating a tool for relocalizing food growing is surprisingly impactful. It sets us off toward a future we could thrive in, one where the fragility of complex and profit-driven systems can be sidestepped for resilient local solutions that produce what grows well here, saving the seeds adapted best to this place, feeding us a great variety of flavorful produce grown with care, reducing food waste by its very directness. The simplicity of the cold frame could easily be distributive, Lots of cold frames in lots of gardens, small holdings, urban farms, providing for people immediately in their proximity. Part of a small farm future. Relocalizing can look like making what we need with what we've got. We can draw on simple old solutions like the cold frame to help us through. Tools like this help us begin to bring food production home, to creatively respond to food insecurity, the stuttering of long, fragile, and often unjust and emission-heavy supply chains, and the soil, water, and toxin crises in our agriculture. Having the means to grow more of what we eat right where we live can contribute to transitioning away from fossil fuel dependence and toward local year-round food resilience. Community cold frames and what could flow from them hold tremendous possibility in their very simplicity. Rooftop cold frames, verge cold frames, allotment cold frames, courtyard cold frames, vacant lot cold frames, school and community center, and neighborhood cold frames.